Now at five, she was a well-known community leader for decades. Crystal DeHaan founded the vacation rental group RCI. Yeah, she also built schools here in Indianapolis and around the globe. And at one point was the richest woman in the state of Indiana. She passed away in 2020 and now her palatial home on the north side is up for sale. I got the chance to see it and find out where that money from the sale is going. This piece of property on Michigan Road, owned by the late Crystal DeHaan, has been sort of a mystery, all walled off for many years. But today, we're going to take you inside. The long driveway up to the home, which is called Linden House, gives it the air of a palace. It's over 41,000 square feet and sits on 150 acres of land. Inside, well, it's stunning. She created a house that's got these amazing sort of public spaces, yeah. right, where she could do big events, big dinners, big, you know, performances. Mm -hmm. But it's a very livable house. Former Indianapolis Mayor Bart Peterson, who is now the president and CEO of Crystal House International, gave me a tour of the home, the library, Crystal DeHaan's home office, her desk. There are paintings and statues everywhere. And he showed me one of two enormous kitchens. A very, very big deal for Crystal House. The home was designed by DeHaan and took four years to build. There's an indoor pool, steam room, spa, seven bedrooms, even two separate apartments for guests. The asking price, $14 million. And Peterson says every cent will go toward DeHaan's passion, providing schooling for impoverished children. So this home, when it's sold, those proceeds will go into an endowment that will help support our expansion. Crystal House schools can be found in Mexico, Jamaica, South Africa, India, and here in Indianapolis. Over 24 years, Crystal DeHaan helped 15,000 kids get an education. She even helped Oprah Winfrey start her school in South Africa. Oprah said to Crystal, you know, I've been trying to get this up and off the ground for five or six years, and you know, you came in and got a school started and, you know, 12 months mm -hmm. or whatever it was. Yeah. You know, how did, how did that happen? Mike Johnson is the real estate agent for the DeHaan House. He says it's been shown several times already and expects a family will buy it. There's plenty of room for kids. It also features a private lake. You have access, you're, you're surrounded by nature, uh, by wildlife, by waterfowl, I think in part because of the proximity to the river. And one interesting note, there are just two telev televisions that I spotted in the house when I took the tour. And former Mayor Bart Peterson says to expect announcements very soon about more Crystal House schools starting up around the world. I mean, Debbie, we've all passed by that mm -hmm. uh, that property. Big I mean, we've, we've never been able to look inside. What a great view that was. Mm -hmm. But what, what used to be there before Crystal built that mansion? Yeah, that used to be a monastery. And Crystal bought the property and developed it. And there is one other house that has been sold on that property. The 150 acres is uh, all part of it. And there's some other acreage that is for sale as well. But it used to be a monastery. Yeah, I mean, we've all lived here for so long. But, yeah. I mean, very, very few of us have ever gotten inside to see it. I know. So that was fascinating yeah, stuff. Yeah, that, that, wall, that wall was controversial when it went up. A lot it of was. not very happy about it. But. Gorgeous inside. Yeah. Next at five.